Now a scare at school this morning for students and teachers at J.P. Terravella High School in Coral Springs. Reports of a suspicious incident brought police there and put the school on lockdown. CBS 4's Joan Marie is live at the school with details. Joan. Well, school got out around noon today. It was a scheduled half day, but that was after hours of anxiety in the morning during this lockdown when students took cover after a code red was issued. The school day was just starting when police swarmed Tarabella High School. After a report, there was an intruder on campus. Look at all these cop cars. They got a SWAT team, a canine unit. They're loaded with ARs and shotguns. And they, they ain't, he ain't going nowhere. As word of a code red spread, anxious parents crowded in front of the school. Frustration building by the minute. Like this is probably going to be my little girl's last day of this school. You know, I'm, I'm done with school. She's all these kids that live in this community, man. It's been a year of, you know, just anxiety and stress, and they do these code red drills every single week, you know, and it stresses the kids out. But now something happens, and it's like you take 20 minutes to stand there and talk about it. Come on, let's go. Almost done. Just sit tight. Keep going. Don't be the camera. Okay. All right. Inside the classroom, students began capturing what was happening on their cell phones and posting on social media. I was just so scared, so I just texted my mom, and she said, "Just pray, be safe, and all that extra stuff." But I was scared and terrified because I didn't want us, our school to be next. The horror of the Stoneman Douglas massacre that happened 14 months ago on a campus just a few miles away is never far from the surface. Unfortunately, you just get that, you know, one bad apple that causes, you know, frustration like this. And you just got to, you know, hope that everything works out, you know, for the best. In the end, it was a false alarm. Carl Springs police issuing a statement saying a student notified a security monitor she saw a former student carrying a large bag. Officers cleared the entire campus while police reviewed surveillance. The threat turned out to be an actual student who resembled a former student. So even though this was a false report of, of somebody on campus, a stranger on campus, police are crediting that student for doing as they are all told to do, which is if you see something, say something. And going forward, they still urge everyone to do that, even if the response is unnecessary. In Coral Springs tonight, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.